I didn't know that. <coughs> How is it a lucky number? 13 is the age when, um, that's why boys get bar mitzvah at the age of 13, by the way. It's the age when the soul gets completely, like, sort of sol solidified in your body. When you come into your own. This is one of those Kabbalah things? Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. It is. So you've been doing some spiritual searching. Yeah. Kind of. Mm-hmm. Did you have a party, for, like a Kabbalah party in New York? I saw that there was like an invitation of some sort, didn't you? In New York? No. Yeah. I had a, um, I had a cocktail party. Mm. A uh, Kabbalah cocktail party? Kabbalah. Kabbalah, sorry. Yeah. Uh, well, Kabbalah if you're Israeli, I guess. Mm. Um, now, how did you become involved in this? Um, a girlfriend of mine go, used to, was going all the time and um, to these classes. They're classes. It's a, the Kabbalah mm. Learning Center. And basically, the Kabbalah is the mystical interpretation of the New Testament. Mm -hmm. And she kept telling me about this really charismatic um, rabbi named Eitan who said, told these great stories, and she kept going on and on about it. And you know, and I said, "Listen, I'm Susan. I'm not even Jewish. Why are you telling me these things?" You mm -hmm. know, and she's like, "You don't have to be Jewish. Just come and take a, you know study. And if you, if you like it, well, you like it. If you don't, yeah. leave." So I did, hmm. and. Um, this is taking some Kabbalah classes. Really? That's it's so really great. It's really great. And what have you gotten out of it? <coughs> I've gotten out of it. Listen, I couldn't get into it on a, you know, no, a two-second sort of glib interview, but I mean, there's, I mean, the thing about the Kabbalah is that, that there's similarities in the Kabbalah is, is, is in, um, the Kabbalah has similarities with, say, Buddhism, mm -hmm. the, the whole idea of cause and effect. Yeah. And for every action, there's a reaction. And, um, and that you absolutely are the master of your destiny, and that uh, that you have to take responsibility for the chaos in your life. No. You can't go around saying, "Oh, this happened to me, and this happened to me, and I'm a victim, and this happened to me." It's like you you pull in what you put out, basically. No. And if you want to have goodness in your life, then you have to give it. No.